Hello and welcome everyone. We all know that every company has to conduct an annual general meeting under section 96. But did you know that every company which conducts an annual general meeting also has to prepare a report for the annual general meeting. And such report, a copy of the such report shall be filed with the ROC. So in this particular lecture, I am going to discuss with you about section 121 that speaks about report on AGM. I am your host and teacher Santosh Baliga. Without wasting any time, let's dive into section 121. First of all, it is applicable to only listed public companies. So section is applicable to only listed public companies, not only public companies, but listed public companies. It is not applicable to private company. It is not applicable to unlisted public company also. Okay, this is very, very important from MCQ purpose. Okay, secondly, such report has to be prepared. Such report has to be prepared on conclusion of the annual general meeting in form MGT 15. In form MGT 15. Okay, now what would this particular MGT 15 uh, consist of? On each AGM, including confirmation, it will include confirmation to the effect that the meeting was convened, held, and conducted as per the provisions of the Act and rules. So it will have a short summary of all that is done in the AGM and will also confirm that the meeting was convened, held, and conducted as per the provisions of the Act and rules which are applicable. I hope this is clear. Now, the rule which is prescribed for preparation of the report, that is form MJT 15, is given under Rule 31. Rule 31. So, one particular doubt that has come to me from one of the students is that do we also have to remember rule numbers? Certainly not. It is not expected at the IPCC or CNT level to remember the or quote the rule numbers at all. Okay. But you have to understand the procedure that is given under the rule, which will have to be provided in your answers. As far as section numbers are concerned, section numbers, at least the most important sections, have to be remembered by you. It is not expected that in C enter level, the students will quote section numbers. But if you do quote section numbers, you will get some brownie points and extra marks. At least five to six marks will be increased in your final tally just because of writing the sections because it will give a very good impression to the examiner. But, but do make sure that you do not quote any wrong section number. Do share it with me or do comment to me in my comment section of this particular video if you want a separate video on how to remember and quote section numbers in law. Okay. Now coming back to section 121, the rule 31 will be applicable over here and it says that companies shall file with the ROC a copy of, file with the ROC a copy of such report which is MGT 15 within 30 days of conclusion of the AGM with such fees as may be prescribed. So the points that we have discussed over here is that form, M form MGT 15 has to be prepared which is a report of the AGM. It has to be filed with the ROC. Copy has to be filed with the ROC. Within how many days? Within 30 days of the conclusion of the AGM. Okay, this is a simple point in this section 121. Now, one more important thing is that if the company fails to file such report, company fails to file such report, that is, it will invite a penalty due to contravention. In that case, the company will have a penalty of 1 lakh rupees. Company will have a penalty of 1 lakh rupees. Okay. And in case the default is continuing, that is 30th day, the company needs to, is the last date by which the company needs to file the, file the report with the ROC. From the 31st day, the default will start and the every day of default will incur at least rupees 500 per day as penalty, further penalty. And it may be maximum up to 5 lakh rupees. Maximum of 2, 5 lakh rupees. And for every officer in default, the penalty will be 2,500 rupees. And in case of continuing default, 500 rupees per day 
which may extend to one lakh rupees, which may extend to one lakh rupees. So you you must have now understood that every company shall prepare a report of AGM in section one two one. So that's it for this particular edition of Computer Lectures. I hope you have understood this lecture. If you have understood this lecture and you have been able to understand the concept under section one twenty one, do give a like to this particular video, share it with your friends to the maximum, and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to this channel for many more such videos. Thanks a lot. Stay safe. Stay healthy.